See, growing up at like parties and stuff like that, that was like the music we used to listen to like all the time. When I was little, I kind of got sick of that music because every time I went to my uncle's house or people came over at my house and my parents threw a party or something like that, it's just non-stop, just, you know, like that type of Spanish music that... But yeah, every time someone came over to my house, like we just played like that old type of like cumbia, that old, that old Spanish music. And like at the time I was like, bro, fuck that. Like when I grow up, I'm going to start a new generation of Hispanics who were not like, we're not going to listen to that shit all the time at parties. We're going to be, you know, bumping some like hip hop, some rap, some other type shit. But now that I'm like older, I'm not going to lie. I am going to continue the tradition of my parents because that music slaps. I'm not even going to lie. That music slaps. I, I don't know what happened. It just like like middle of last year. I was like, fuck it. You know, I haven't listened to this music in so long. Let me let me see how it is now. I am so glad I made that decision because I like I listen to that shit so much. I like to branch out with my music because I still like hip hop, rap, stuff like that. That's still like my number one genre. That's still the one that I listen to the most. Most, but I like to branch out to other genres as well. There's some genres I don't touch at all though. Like I don't listen to any metal, any rock, anything like that. No, I don't have anything against it. It's just not for me. Same thing with something like country. I know a lot of people dunk on country and say it's like trash and I can low key, I can see the appeal of country music, but at the same time, it is, it's not for me. You know, I like, I could say right now, country music is mainly just them talking about getting a wife and they're probably like 19, them about like drinking beer and something about some type of farm equipment and that's it but i already know someone who likes country music is gonna come up and be like yeah well rap music is all about doing drugs and fucking hooking like so maybe i want to do hard drugs in, a, in my lifetime like that's my decision who are you to stop me from trying cocaine once in my life see that's one thing that's low-key on my bucket list too not like doing pure cocaine not i'm not that you know i'm not a druggie i remember seeing that old coca-cola used to be like sweetened with cocaine or something like that i don't know if it was sweetened or if they just put it in because america was on a drug rage back then but yeah back then they had cocaine inside of coca-cola the amount that they had in there i'm not sure but it is on my bucket list to try that type of cocaine, at least not cocaine. See, now I'm on an FBI fucking watch list. It is on my bucket list to try that type of Coca-Cola at least once in my life. Because that type of Coca-Cola probably tastes so different and like maybe it slaps even harder than regular Coke because instead of a sugar high, you're getting like high off cocaine i don't this is all just commentary i do not condone the use of cocaine and any kids watching this i do not you like condone the use of cocaine or meth or black tar heroin or acid or penicillin i don't really know what i want to do on my bucket list yet to be honest i know that's one thing doing the coca-cola cocaine thing is on there going to japan is on there but other than that i don't really know what do people usually have on their bucket list like i guess travel is always on there but i already have that on there i feel like the coca-cola thing is pretty unique i don't think a lot of normal people want to ingest coke if anything that's probably going to be my like cause of death see going back to like the music thing i guess something i can put on my bucket list is i want to go on like a listen i know he's canceled or some shit i don't care i want to go to a kanye concert because that experience must be so different to go to a Kanye concert. The only thing is, is that I feel like going to a Kanye concert is kind of risky because knowing Kanye's track record, I wouldn't be surprised if he just cancels the concert like 20 minutes before he's supposed to show up. And if that happens, I don't know, Kanye, you're going to have to, your, your favoritism in my books is going to go down a little bit. I know that's saying something, especially after you said you love the Nazis, but if you cancel on me after I spent a good 500 to go to a fucking concert one of the concerts i really wanted to go to was a daft punk concert like the djs just because their music is really good but the thing is that was technically on my bucket list but now i can't really do it because they broke up they disbanded they're not gonna do anything anymore and back when they released like an album that was back in like 2013 so i was like super young so i wouldn't even have been able to go i guess i can count that too i'm gonna be honest i don't know what half of these attachments do i know like it shows you the pros and the cons but a lot a lot of these do the same exact pros and cons and it doesn't really tell you which one helps you the most so which one like this has hip fire accuracy right as a pro so this one has hip fire accuracy as a pro walking speed a ads speed as a con we go to like this one same thing hip fire accuracy is a pro walking speed ads speed is a con like they're literally the same thing but like, which one helps me the most? Give me some type of stats so I know what one 
to choose like what the fuck literally the same exact thing they just gave it a different name it even looks the same they just gave it two different nuts to hold it into the gun same thing with these ones literally the same exact thing this one just looks like a circumcised version of this one i don't fucking know man Team Deathmatch. yo can my guys stop moving the gun i'm trying to trying to position the iron sight inside like perfectly inside that circle right there hold on stop moving the fucking gun jesus what do you have parkinson's hold on so my speakers have been blowing in my car for around like a couple days now so i've been driving around in silence and it really sucks because it's very depressing and very awkward if i want to listen to music i usually just i either put in my airpods while driving or i just put the speaker up all the way on my phone and it's you know, it's not the it's not the greatest. I don't want any bad bitches coming into my car and be like, Oh my god, can you play my favorite song? And then I'm just like, yeah, about that. Yeah, I'll give you one of my AirPods if you want to listen to music. But technically, one of the speakers was still working, but I ordered replacements. And the day that the replacements were supposed to come in, I took off my, I like took all of my speakers out of my car. So I could just do it all in one day. But they came late. Like they're supposed to come one day and they didn't. And that was the day I like took out my speakers and I'm not putting them back in just to take them out again. So that's why I have like no sound at all right now. How many shots do you want? I just shot that guy with like 11 bullets and he didn't die.